here we go. Thought I'd do a quick little preview video. Here's a video review that will be coming soon. We got Creo Mirage. These little dudes. Um, water. Real quick, I know I recently did Bumblebee. Um, since that video, I have gotten the rest of the Prime line. All the Cyberverses released, all the Deluxes released. Which means I also got RC and Ratchet, I think. Plus that, plus since what I've had been then. And little, and a lot more little guys than I used to have. But I have all of them at that time. I don't remember. I have Cliff Jumper now, too. Cliff Jumper, who I will be showing. Um, so I thought I should do a video review to come back from my hiatus. And, um, I don't have really anyone prepared. Quick little review, because it's going to be a while since I can get him all the because I got to do him, and I got to put together all of them, and it takes me about an evening just to get Megatron back to vehicle mode. Then I'll get the other two back in another evening. So it'll be like four days maybe before I finally get all this uploaded and edited it together. So it's a little preview. So I thought I would do one of these little guys. Not Thundercracker though, because I want to do him when I have all the other Seekers, do all of them at once. Optimus, I thought, but then I figured he has some accessories. And I don't want to do him yet, because I want to show his Matrix off and that, and that'll take a bit of time to show off Prime's Matrix, because I want to also do his vehicle mode. The one that there is no vehicle mode for doesn't have any accessories, just him is Megatron. And I thought you should either start with Megatron or Optimus, because I'll do Megatron, then Optimus. So this isn't my usual stadium, and I'm not going to be using a tripod. So here we go. Um, this is QB Little Craft, my Megatron little paper guy. Um, nice face, he's got the Megatron. The evil Megatron. Face, nice little frown, nicely detailed though. Got the top. This you're supposed to cut that out and put it up, but I don't. I prefer the cube-looking head. Then on the back here, this is supposed to stab into the um, tab into the back of the head, slides in so you can pull it out. Um, it doesn't quite. It's not quite wide enough, so I ended up just taping line. Um, the arm is. Yeah, I just kind of pulled this arm off again. Um, I have taped closed the head, the arms, the legs, and that. But the head can still come off, the feet can co still can come off, the arms can still come off. Let's do a quick little... Yeah, and one thing I do like about these guys is he's detailed in the back. Got that and that in the back. Sides, heads, looks nice. Back of the arms are good. Back there's detail, back of his legs are detailed, so... They're detailed nicely. Um, his arms nice the fists, got the Decepticon symbol, the little gizmo button area here, little front of the gun, top of the gun area, side, red sides, nice, nice G1 figure and character accurate feet. Now, little frit problems I had, like I said, that one was too wide, and the gun here, um, as you can see, there's a little bit here, what it is, is originally the gun... Uh, how do I put this? This arm goes here, I think. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the arm that has the slit area for the gun is this one, so I put it on this side. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be on this side or not, but he had the gun on this side in the cartoon in that. However, the problem is the gun had the bit on this side, which means it would have to be flipped over. But on the back of here, when you fold it around, there is no this part. Now maybe I cut that out wrong, but if I remember correctly, there was no this part. So I ended up having to chop that off, cut a little bit off here where it folded, so it stab in, and then tape it securely. But all in all, I think he looks very nice. No articulation, of course, just a cute little thing. I think this is for if you can't afford a Generations. If you can't afford any version of Megatron, you want G1, can't afford G1, can't afford Classics, can't afford anything to substitute. This is a good little guy. So he, should, so he looks very nice. I strongly suggest him. Now I'm going to do a quick little comparison. Here he is with his arch nemesis Optimus Prime. I'll do a review of him soon. Now one thing I'm going to see if look into is see if there's a way you can do a um, battle axe. I think I might do a little custom sphere thing and that. But here's Optimus Prime next to him. They are roughly the same height. 
Optimus, I do think, is just a tad bit bigger all around. Maybe I used bigger printout. No, he just seems bigger. Okay. And then real quick, we'll do Thundercracker. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.